Welcome back, everybody. Today is the 20th. We have made it to the final 11 day. Today we watched... Warning, do not play. Now, the main reason I watched this film is because I haven't watched a lot of foreign horror films, so I wanted to give this one a shot, and it didn't really disappoint, but it ran on a little long for my taste, but that's just me. It was only an hour 26, but you can definitely tell they stretched it to make sure it could fit and make that make that feature length film time. Anyways, let's talk about the plot, shall we? This is the story about a horror movie rookie director, Park Mi Jung, who wants to uh, who wants to make who wants to make a new horror movie. In the preparing progress, she heard about a banned horror movie from eight years ago, directed by Kim Jae Hyung. Mi Jung decided to find out what happened in the past, expecting that it might give some inspiration for her upcoming movie. To summarize it a little better, in in uh, let's just go with it this way: uh, the female lead, aka uh, Park Mi Jung, needs to get a movie in because she's currently under a movie deal and she keeps pushing it back and back and back and she's starting to panic. Uh, eventually she goes to visit her barista friend who uh, enlightens her on a story who enlightens her on a story that he heard earlier on early on in life where there was a film where uh, it was so scary that it if I'm let me see if I remember this right it was so scary that many people left the theater and one person had a heart attack and died so she begins her journey to find that she uh, tries googling it doesn't work she tries um, she tries several things of trying to uh, she visits the festival the film festival where it supposedly was shown they can't find it because they don't she doesn't have the name of the director or the name of the movie she goes to a bar and it just so happens to be that the festival students or the students from a local school that have been studying film were there she gets them all to tell her about it it is confusing at some points in time she finally gets information about where to go and the name of the film. The name of the film is called Warning, and the director, as I previously mentioned, is named that name I mentioned earlier. And so begins she finds she finds the film first, gets it downloaded, but it's only the preview for it or the clip for it. And you can already see that it's um that something else is filming it, not a person so the rumor is that this entire thing was filmed by a ghost this entire process was filmed by a ghost which is what the entire uh premise of this movie is post online has anyone heard of this has anybody heard of warning posting the name posting the name and showing the clip that it's all about eventually somebody reaches out who's the director reaches out and says you have to take this down you don't want your life to become a living horror movie like mine has become this is the scariest thing that's ever existed on this planet so on so forth and that's pretty much the movie i'm not going to discuss what really happens after that pretty much she discovers more of it she watches more of it and then she goes and visits where the entire thing took place and it's an overlapping time loop which becomes convoluted i don't know if it's right but it's convoluted there's some decent scares in it uh plot for this gets about a six it was a little rough to follow at some points in time but it was decent it was a decent film um the scares in the uh, the threat of this film is the i don't know what it is about uh like i'm sorry this is a korean joe a korean movie I don't know what it is about Korean jo uh, ghost, Korean ghost. I can't just talk. I don't know what it is about Korean ghost, but they give them the most interesting sounds. I recently watched one about a. Uh, uh, I recently watched one that took place in a uh, asylum. It was found flick style, and all of it, the goat, the the noises that they give the ghost are always so interesting. It's more of just mouth noises and less of like ooh. Uh, it's more of like these pops and these pops and like um, moist clicks and stuff like that. They do an excellent job with it, and that's like right on the money, right where you right where you want. You want to be fascinated by the ghost and not have something you've seen a thousand freaking times. Um, they do plenty of good jump scares with it. Uh, so yeah the threat is probably about a six as well the scares are probably about a five 
Uh, we'll say the threat's probably about a, a five. Scares are probably about a six. Yeah, fix it there. If not, it's whatever. Um, that, 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 is it newbie approved? No, there's kind of some graphic, some graphic scenes in it. Um, do I recommend people watching it? This is kind of give or take. I know, I know that um, it being a foreign film that people are having to read it. Reading will take away from scares, like most definitely. If I'm in the middle of reading something and it sounds scary and I look up, I won't be able to see what's supposed to be freaking me out. That's that's just how it is. Uh, that's how it is for me. And that I just, if you speak Korean, then jump on it. Like if you can understand it thoroughly or yeah, thoroughly, if you can thoroughly understand it, then go for it. But this is a little bit more rough for me, but I would definitely want to try to put more foreign films on it because what they do with ghosts and monsters is awesome but uh the overall score for this i'll probably only give it about a 5.5 to a yeah probably about a 5.5 there's a couple of good scares in it but it just could not keep my attention through reading at all like uh i am sorry if it sounds like i'm being a douche about it but yeah 5.5 is about where i leave warning do not play i hope everybody's having a great day take care Stay scared and don't go hunting for horror movies filmed by ghosts. Like, I can't believe I have to say this, but I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Don't do that. See you guys.